Hey guys, Summer here with Done Naturally. And today I have a Did You Know? And this is about late preterm babies or babies born between 35 weeks all the way up to 37 and six days. Um, so babies born under the age of 38 weeks and at 35 weeks. Those babies are a special group of babies. And I wanna to talk to you about how they're different and some things you can put in place to help. Those kids have a few things kind of working against them. They really do most of the time look like they are full term. They look done, so to speak. They're usually about the right size, but they have a lot of things that haven't finished maturing, and that stuff's on the inside. And those things um, can give them difficulty. A lot of times those babies have trouble with maintaining their blood sugars. Those babies can have trouble maintaining their own heat. Those babies can have trouble not even being awake enough to feed, having very weak suck, having a non-productive suck, and overall just sleepier, lazier, and not as much gusto. They don't have as much oomph as a full-term baby does. It's like they don't have as much gas. They don't have as much energy. So what we have to do to help you, there's a few things. We have to initiate pumping right away. Pumping every three hours, around the clock, even in the middle of the night, for 15 minutes, up until that baby reaches about their due date, or that full term time, because Usually, even if they're breastfeeding, which is something that you're going to be working with them on top of pumping, they aren't doing it effective enough to stimulate your milk production. So if you have a baby between those ages, you will be working on breastfeeding, you will be pumping as well, and most likely you'll be additionally supplementing. Supplementing doesn't have to mean formula. Supplementing itself means extra milk. And maternal milk is priority. So working on nursing, pumping for 15 minutes, and giving them any extra milk that you can get. And if there isn't any maternal milk, there might be donor milk available, or as a last resort, some formula. Sometimes those babies are smaller and they need that extra supplement. If they're having trouble with blood sugars, they might need that extra supplement to help them through that time. If they're not eating adequately, which many of them are not, they might need that supplemental time. So late pretermers need a lot of extra work from you, mom. You end up doing what I call, or the lactation world calls, triple feeding, because you are breastfeeding, you are pumping, and you're giving additional milk. That additional milk does not have to be given by a bottle. That milk could be given by a spoon, a syringe, a cup, and if the volume gets big enough, it might need to be given by a bottle. So these babies are at-risk babies. We have to take extra precautions to make sure that we stimulate your milk supply within that window of first two to three weeks of delivery because they might not be able to. So mom, you have to do extra work in order to help everything be okay. If you do that work, then by the time they have matured, which some takes days, some takes weeks, then everything can come together very nicely because you've done that work. And eventually you can reduce and wean off that pumping and just move to exclusively breastfeeding and slowly wean off of that supplementation as your milk supply comes in or as they get better at maintaining their sugars and having energy enough to feed, they might lose more weight, all those things as they're resolved, you're gonna be able to reduce that amount of pumping. But you have to begin that in the beginning. So. If you have a baby born like that, I hope you have somebody by your side supporting you and that lactation consultant, a nurse, a mom, a friend, a family member, someone helping you because it's a lot of work, father of the baby, your partner, helping you do all that because it's a ton of work and it doesn't really allow for a lot of sleep. But they will get better. As they get closer to that due date, they will absolutely mature. We just have to protect your milk supply. 
So that's a little bit about late preterm babies. Obviously every case is gonna be a little bit different, but they do require special care and extra work. Um, mothers who have had other babies before, we call those multiparous mothers, um, they can sometimes get away with not doing as much work because usually those mother's milk comes in much faster than the first time around and more plentifully. So that late preterm baby not, might not have to work as hard to get milk out because she's compensating for that, but that's in general. You can have a baby who's born to a mother who's had other children and it's really struggling. Um, sometimes those babies are also small for gestational age. Sometimes those babies are also intrauterine growth restricted. So that counts against them too because when they're smaller, they have a harder time. But again, those kids need more attention. So when you have a baby of that age, get somebody in your corner to support you and lead you through so you can have success. Okay, that's what I got. See you later. Bye.